My name's Mina. I'm a sole navigator sailor. I'd run into heavy winds in the South Pacific when a wave knocked me overboard. I fought through the pitch black night until the waves carried me onto this beach. No one in sight on shore. Strange. I feel like I'm being watched. Am I on a deserted island or an inhabited land? I'm feeling weak. I've got to find something to eat. My phone. It's the only thing I had on me when the waves carried me away. It hasn't been affected by the seawater. The batteries are almost dead. Just before the accident, I was on course to break the record. I just took too many risks and I blew it. If I ever get out of here, who's gonna trust me with another boat? Seeing things? I'm sure I saw someone up there. What a strange noise! This is a good place to make a fire. Not very filling. If I open the oysters like that, I'm going to break the knife.
heat from the fire is bending the acacia thorns. First, make a hole to drink the milk inside. Then, cut up the shell to eat the flesh. Zero waste. First, make a hole to drink the milk inside. Then, cut up the shell to eat the flesh. Zero waste. Heat from the fires opening the oyster. I've eaten enough. I'm feeling good. I ought to check out the island. That sound again. The hibiscus is one tough plant. Fibers will make an excellent rope. Smoke! Could there be an inhabited house over there? It's just steam coming from the hot spring. There's no inhabited house around these parts. This sulfurous water is boiling. We can't drink it. But I could use its heat to cook something. I'm going to have to get this animal out without killing it. Scarecrow.
Some big cat went that way. From the size of those tracks, I sure don't want to run into it. Stones at me. Luckily, I'm out of range. gentle current pushing me towards the shore. an inscription engraved on the inside of the box. It looks like a poem. Hey, 
What have we here? battery. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to recharge my phone. The battery level's going up. Let's hope it works. Just before the accident, I was on course to break the record. Barely a month ago, I was rounding Wessent Island as part of the Jules Verne Trophy, a non-stop round-the-world sailing competition. I'd chosen to go it alone. I was so sure of myself. I'd moved heaven and earth to find a boat. GPS has got my position. Longitude, 150 degrees and 30 minutes west. And latitude, 34 degrees and 57 minutes south. I've got some containers that can hold water and withstand fire. I've got a feeling they're going to come in very handy. You'd need to be a monkey to get up there. A maple tree. my sailboat drifting. They reported me as missing. But without a beacon, what are the odds of them finding me here? It'd be like finding a needle in a haystack.
are already losing interest in me. Everybody probably thinks there's no chance of me being alive. Jep is feeling well enough to eat. Jep is feeling well enough to eat. After a good night's sleep, you'll feel much better. Let's settle down in front of a warm fire and get some rest. I am Captain Nemo. I haunt this island in search of eternal rest. Find my body and give me a proper burial. Sleep okay, Jep? I had this dream. Well, I suppose it was a dream. Do you believe in ghosts? Don't be afraid. If we stick together, nothing will happen to us. Climb onto my shoulder. If we work as a team, we'll be able to get a lot more done. Stopping me from repairing the mill's sail. It worked. Jeff managed to persuade it. It shouldn't give us any more trouble. It's rusty. You'd need to be a monkey to get up there. going to make some rope ladders with these vines. to get through. Hello? Mina, say something. Hello? Mom, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Come on, Mina, answer me. Darn. My phone can receive, 
but it can't transmit. Mina, I can't hear a thing, but if you can hear me, then listen up. They're saying there's little chance of finding you and that I should give up hope. That's garbage. It's bad enough losing your boat. I hope you at least had the decency not to go and get yourself drowned. I don't know where you are, but try to come home as soon as you can. You'll obviously run into a little bit of trouble. So good luck, and try to make it home in time for your sister's birthday. My sister's birthday. I can just smell Mom's freshly baked apple pie. to get this animal out without killing it. <coughs> the heat makes the bamboo explode. An inscription has been carefully engraved in the stone. Granite House.
Did you see what I saw, Jeb? A present for you. A pearl! It's huge! It might be valuable enough to replace the boat that I lost. Lincoln Island has got to be where I am. What a mess! It looks like a horde of elephants came through here. This cannon isn't properly loaded. Some notes written in English. Probably some chemist's notepad. It's a torn note trembling hand. Let's see if I can make it out, despite the missing parts. the South Pacific. There's a cross in the middle of the ocean with the name Lincoln Island, located between the 35th and 40th parallel, and between the 150th and 155th meridian west of Greenwich. Hmm. The closest inhabited land is more than 1,200 miles away. Thank <laughs> you. 
faraway cry or an echo from the past? Keep cool, Jet. As long as we stick together, nothing will happen. Something moving over there. <gasps> that monster almost swallowed me. I've got to find a way to get rid of it. I'm going to have to get this animal out without killing it.
What a monster. He swallowed the bait in one go. With all that sleeping potion I used, he should leave me alone. At least I hope so. Okay, Jep, let's see where this well goes. I hope this diving suit doesn't spring a leak. Look! A vessel anchored in the cavern. A submarine! Last I've seen of them. This opening leads onto a steep cliff. I'll need a ladder to get down it. <laughs> Quick, run for cover, or that robot's gonna shoot us! This robot must be broken.
my lightning arrestor stopped me from getting electrocuted. here. That robot's gonna see me. There's a robot standing guard on the deck. I have to time it perfectly. Climb up and act fast. I'm not in the right position to shoot.
was a good idea, but it's not enough. It looks like some parts have come off the mechanism. like a long way. Should I go for it? I'm the captain. I'd better play along with it. Yes, yes. It's me. I hope your outing has been enjoyable, Captain. I am happy to see you, Captain. You have been absent for more than 50 years. Your vessel has since deteriorated somewhat. Do you think it's seaworthy? No, Captain. For three reasons. Firstly, a tremor has partially blocked the entrance to the cave in which we are anchored. Secondly, rust has eaten through the steering cables. Finally, all available energy is powering the shield isolating your island. I want you to deactivate the shield. With all due respect, your order contradicts your previous instructions. I can only obey if you confirm your identity. How? My sensory identification circuits are damaged. Consequently, I must follow the procedure that you put in place and ask you a series of questions. Correct answers will prove that you are the captain. As you wish, captain. But until you agree to the test, I cannot obey your order. His face seems familiar. It could be Captain Nemo when he was young. He 
looks happy in the painting. As for the woman, where have I seen her face before? A letter addressed to Captain Nemo by the writer Jules Verne. Captain Nemo's very own notebook. Mysterious Island, a book by Jules Verne. A first edition. Passages have been underlined in pencil. They tell of the island being completely destroyed in a volcanic eruption. Dates have been engraved on the copper plaques, but they're too far away for me to read them. Robot won't let me get near the weapons, but he's not taking any notice of Jep. Go on, Jep. Press the clay onto the plaques and bring back the imprints so I can read them. Hmm. Dates when the weapons were made. 12th century sword. 16th century halberd and crossbow. 17th century pistol and rapier. 
19th century Aborigine club. Hey, the club's the most recent weapon. Deactivate the shield that's cutting us off. I can only obey if you prove your identity by answering my questions. Here is the first riddle that you must solve. Cedar, Laurel, Olmus, Beech. Take these trees and cut the root. The words must go. Take aim and shoot. Then join their trunks to make a weapon. There, by the bulkhead, it's ready for action. Of all those I see, it's the newest, I believe. You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? This weapon is the solution to the riddle. The first two lines of the verse give the names of trees. I take their roots, meaning their first letters, and join them together to make a club. Correct answer, Captain. Here is the next riddle on a wine-red case. It lies supreme. It's dark color, the finest I've seen. Of all the pearls, it is the queen. You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? It's the giant black pearl, lying on a case as red as wine. Correct answer, Captain. Here is the next riddle. Rising from the water, with her large eyes, this pretty damsel has four wings to fly. You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? The damselfly is one of the names given to the dragonfly. The larva of this insect lives in water. You could therefore say that it rises from water. Correct answer, Captain. Here is the next riddle. This miraculous device, a precious ally, follows the sun with its single eye, helping lost sailors home and dry. You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? It's the sextant. This instrument gives the latitude by measuring the height of the sun above the horizon. It contains a lens, which the riddle refers to as a single eye. Correct answer, Captain. Here is the next riddle. Its silvery surface, which weighs the invisible has frequently saved you from winds so terrible. You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? It's the barometer, whose mercury surface, shining like silver, weighs the invisible air. That's how it measures atmospheric pressure, whose variations warn of impending storms and bad weather. Correct answer, Captain. Here is the next riddle. Of all the creatures, 
adorning the walls, the one that is fastest, has a nose like a sword. You have chosen an object. Is that your answer? It's the swordfish, capable of swimming at 50 miles per hour. Correct answer, Captain. Here is the next riddle. What correspondence from so far away can shed some light on a captain's fate? The astrolabe and boussole, ships of such pride, ran on to coral this captain's last ride. This is your composition, Captain. I recognize your inimitable style. Any doubts I may have had about your identity have been resolved. I shall obey your orders. Immediately deactivate the shield, cutting us off from the outside world. Yes, Captain. You can hear me! Yes, Mom. Me too. Sure, but listen to me first. Make a note of my position. Did you get it? Yes, the island's big. I'm on the east coast. I'll light a fire for the rescue services. 